Right before we get started on the 2.7 future value of investments, let's go back and do a quick warm up. Today we're trying to find the interest earned on a $25,000 deposited for 10 years at four and a quarter percent interest compounded daily. This is going to be our normal compound interest formula. So we're going to get ready to plug into Desmos. We're going to put in our $25,000 principal. One plus a rate of four and a quarter, that's 4.25, compounded daily to the power of NT of 365 times 10. And our formula yields a new balance of 38,238 and 81 cents. Go ahead and copy and paste that Desmos work into your document. Now this question is asking us for the interest earned. And this formula gives us the balance. So interest earned to calculate the interest earned, we need to subtract the new balance the starting balance from the new balance. So starting balance was the 25,000. So we go 38 to 38 and 81 cents minus the starting balance and we'll get our interest earned. Thirteen thousand two thirty eight and eighty one cents. All right. So that's the formula we just left off with that we just studied. But now we're going to have a balance of an account that's growing to a value at some point in the future. That's our normal compound interest. But what if we wanted to, instead of putting one lump sum into the bank that just stays there for an amount of time, what if we wanted to do periodic investments? What if we wanted to put the same amount of money at a regular interval, such as once per year or once per month or biweekly, et cetera? So these periodic investments are going to help us now calculate what would our future balance be if I was regularly putting money into a savings with earning interest? So this balance is already going to grow based on the periodic investments, plus if we earn any interest on it, even better. Here's our new really big formula. So notice what's different from the old compound interest formula. We had a principal looked just like this. There was no minus one. And now it's divided by the rate compounded by that amount again. Notice the double parentheses that are needed here. Let's go test it out in example one. Rich and Laura are 45 years old. They open an account at Mission Savings Bank with the hope that it will gain enough interest at their retirement age of 65. From 45 to 65, that's 20 years. They deposit 5,000 each year to an account that pays 4.5% interest compounded annually. What is the account balance when Rich and Laura retire? So we're looking to determine the balance at some point in the future. So this is a future value problem because 5,000 is deposited each year for 20 years, this is a periodic investment. So we're gonna use the future value of a periodic deposit investment formula, the big mama of our formulas. So let's go plug this in to Desmos. Get rid of that compound interest. Now this time P doesn't stand for principal, it stands for our periodic investment. We're going to be doing 5000 per year. Notice the double formulas right there. 1 plus 0.045 compounded annually. Technically, it's divided by 1. I don't even really need to put that part, but we're going to anyways. To the power of NT, so to the power of 1 times that 20 years. Where did I get the 20? From age 45 to age 65, that's a span of 20 years. Now I need to arrow down and do the minus 1. I only want the minus one to be happening on this part of the formula. 
if you don't do the double parentheses, you're not telling it to subtract from this, you're telling it to subtract from the whole product. So please keep that parentheses. Then we're gonna divide by the rate, again, divided by compounded annually, which again, we don't technically need divided by one, but we're gonna put it to be safe. Oops. So let's go and copy and paste this work into our Desmos, and this is how much they're gonna have after the 20 years. All right, so the balance of their account after 20 years is 156, 857, 11. So now they deposit 5,000. We wanna know how much will they earn over that 20 year period. So let's take their 156, 857, and 11 cents. And let's subtract how much they deposited. Wait, how much did they deposit? They deposited 5,000 per year times 20 years. Do that in the calculator real quick. 100 thousand dollars. So just from them saving alone, they saved a hundred thousand just on their own money and then they earned interest on it on top of that so it gave them even more money. So the difference between these two, this 56,857 11 cents, that's how much interest they earned. They actually saved more money than they earned. That's impressive. How much more would they have in their account if they held off a year to retire? So instead of retiring after 20 years, what if they retired after 21? Let's go into our Desmos and change this one number to a 21. And here's the difference of how much more. So 168, 915, and 68 cents minus 156, 857, and 11 cents. How much more would they have? 168, 915, and 68 cents. It gives them an extra of 12,058.57. Not bad for waiting a year to retire. All right, Linda and Rob open an online savings account with 3.6% annual interest rate, compounded monthly. If they deposit 1,200 every month, how much will be in the account after, 12, after 10 years? So since it's a periodic investment and we're trying to get a future balance, we're gonna use this new big mama formula. So let's go put in that 1,200 a month, that's my periodic investment instead of the principal, one plus the rate, 0.036, divided by compounded monthly this time. To the power of that monthly compounding times time. My time is 10 years. Remember that I'm trying to minus one, but I'm only trying to minus one from this part of the formula. You need a double parentheses here. And we're dividing by the rate, compounded monthly again at the bottom, 173,022 and 87 cents. Yeah, let's put a dollar sign in and we're all done. Put on notes.